Hello and welcome to another episode of the Struggle Bus. Today we are going in depth with the redecoration project as promised in the last episode. If you haven't watched that episode, the link is right up there. Please do watch. All right, so um, in the previous episode, I very briefly mentioned that the entire room's concept was inspired by a cigar. Not just the colors, but also the mood that it exudes. Manly, strong, classy, cozy was, were just like a few adjectives that we used to define the space. Moving on, a few things that needed obvious change in this room were number one the green wall for sure it just didn't work with the color palette uh the headboard really chunky um and just tacky i'd say and number three those really uncomfortable chairs that i wanted to do away with and and then just minimizing wood usage uh around the room as much as possible somehow all right so starting with the paint and wood varnish since we were uh, varnishing the wood in a very dark walnut-like finish, we decided that we wanted to keep the walls and ceilings as light as possible. Um, that is just so in order to not close up the space too much. We went with Asian Paints Royal White Snow in satin finish and then using the principle of repetition and rhythm, we had a bit of black thrown here and there. So with our vanity cabinet and the dado rail and our um, hanger that we kept in another corner so we did have a little bit of black thrown around the room so as to make that entire room cohesive so moving on to the costing part of it um, which is something that a lot of you are interested in how much money did we spend in redecorating this place um, i would suggest you pause now and you type in the comments below uh, your estimate on how much you think we spent on redecorating this room. And then by the end of the video, you'll know how close or how far you were from the actual amount that we actually spent. All right. So uh, our major cost was painting and varnishing the wood, which costed us about 7,500 with materials. The second was... Uh, the sofa upgrade so we uh, we added a little bit of poofing into this into the chair that we already had um, and that costed us about 5,000 rupees the headboard costed us um, 6,540 um, we have used the decor's leatherette finish uh, deep tan colored leather uh, it's uh, it's from their height collection and this was 1450 per meter and we've used two meters of it um, and then for the headboard we used contact paper from Amazon which was pretty cheap we, we, it costed us 1598 and we applied it ourselves it was really really simple to apply uh, and then Crabtree black switchboards um, on both sides of the bed so that costed us 1700 um, the lampshades that you see on the headboard costed us 999 uh, each and uh, this is also from Amazon mm, and then we had black spray paint which was about uh, 800 something I'll give you the exact number later Carpenter costed us 1500 the photo frames that you see uh, all around the room, um, these cost us a 725 for six pieces. And I also spray painted one of them gold, which you see uh, right next to the bed. And then the electrician costed us about 1000 uh, And all the decor stuff uh, in total costed us somewhere around 9,500 uh, rupees. The curtains are from uh, Tharbus Home Collection. We are really, really excited about these curtains. What we did was uh, the woolen curtains are uh, custom designed to fit the concept and the design of the room. So in case you do want something, I think for now, I'm just going to use 
all the TV stuff in the houses or the spaces that I'm already designing because it's a lot easier that way. And then eventually we'll start um, expanding it into its own um its own individual shop yeah so the total of all of that came down to be somewhere around close to forty thousand. so we spent forty thousand inr to redecorate this entire place now if your guess was close to forty thousand, congratulations you are an expert at budget makeovers if it were if it was higher than 40 then um surprise surprise if it was lower than 40, then um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I mean, uh, this was, uh, we really struggled to get this together with as little expenditure as possible. Like a lot of the stuff that you see around is DIY. Um, and yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. That's it for this week. I will see See you again in the next episode. So